Hello friends, welcome in my YouTube channel. Today I am setting video for my new section which I am going to make for the news. The purpose of making this section or we can say the playlist is to deliver some information about the what is going around the world in the field of programming and what the new things are coming and what the changes they are doing for better development or better programming. So friend, this section is just for that. So friend, today I came with Dartpad. As I already explained to you what is Dartpad, something as so many programs I did on Dartpad and I suggested beginners to use Dartpad for their programming because it explains better errors when you do while you're programming. So friend, something new came in this Dartpad which I'm going to show you. First of all, the this is the latest Dart version that is the Dart SDK 2.6.1. And the thing is that what the new thing came here, I think some day earlier that has embedded. So the new thing which is introduced in this Dart pad that is Flutter. So how can you use that Flutter? And the purpose of embedding the Flutter in the Dart pad is to make this thing available for those people who does not have that much of high configuration laptops of 8 GB RAM and uh, very high processor. It just embedded in your Dart pad. You can easily use it with your browser. So friends, how can you access that? So come here, click on the new pad. After that, you have a pop-up menu of create new pad. Click on OK. Friends, you have the option of Flutter here. So you have to click here and you have to click on create. Yep, we get it. So friends, we know very well that Android Studio is very high RAM consuming software which consumes almost 50% of your RAM while it runs on your PC. So so somehow it is about the light experience towards the flutter so many people are not using this feature so that did something for that so friends let's come yeah you can see so many options in this menu at the time when i was making that video at that time there is only option like web sockets of html5 but now here are some more options of counter sunflower so we can see it one by one so start with sunflower user interface menu in Android Studio, you have to run the emulator. Inside the emulator, you have to run your program or you can say that debug your program. After that, you can access this thing. Okay, that is very high RAM consuming, but you can see it effectively running inside the Dart pad. Okay, working well. Now come to the next, draggable and physics. Yep, yes, it is also working very good. This is a draggable card which was made by Flutter team. It has implicit application or oh, it is auto running yeah this is the new animation which is made by the flutter team if you click on any disk it changes it all the things are changed around you okay so this is a new type of animation which they make a new thing which is introduced here that is of documentation if you click here like these lines of flutter dot material dot dot if you after that click on documentation after that you can see here are some documentation about the YouTube file. All those information are here in this documentation part. Okay, so okay, these things are introduced here, but here is a drawback that when you have to use or implement something from your pubspec.yml file, that is essential. Then you insert an image. You have to assist the images on the pubspec.yml. But here I didn't find those options. Let me explain you live. They select these codes. I have a code on my Android Studio, which I suited a video for my dotted animation, dotted, uh, dotted similar animation. If I paste that code here, if I run it, I have an error on my console. The error is unsupported input package simmer slash simmer dot dot. If you have seen my video of simmer effect at that time, I went on substrate.yml file on those dependencies. I change, I make a similar option in that and I will say that activate that similar option in that dependencies but I am not accessing it here because I didn't have pubject.yml file to read those things so here's a drawback so here one thing which I want to show you that if you are making a website for some educational purpose and you want to introduce or in that console in your website then you have an option to embed that console in your website so we come to this link and here is the embedding guide you can read it thoroughly what is how many types i will show you there are four types to embed dart console in your website embed dart html embed inline embed flutter embed html 
everything is same you have just to copy this code paste it in your html code and if you want to embed dart embed inline just to replace this with embed inline embed with flutter replace it here embed html replace it here okay the sample website which i want to show you click on this link open it is the dart console you can embed this and you can also fix the length width and height dart console by this functions uh, if you are a html developer then you know all these things you have just to copy this code and paste it on your html code okay so i will show you a website which have dart console here here is the website which have dart console and it is working well okay yes it is working well you can run your program here if you want to copy this with flutter you can also do that okay so that's all thank you